Hello, Brian Bowen here again. Um, come to you uh, non editing. I'm not editing this video. Um, since uh, uh, really starting to do my apologetic uh, videos and stuff on uh, YouTube, I, uh, uh, I've been editing my videos. Um, this will be the first one on here that I have not edited. Um, namely, because I just wanted to just talk with y'all, just casually. Um, I'm not wearing anything fancy. Um, I'm, this video is very natural. You know, crazy stuff happens when I'm doing videos. I get called downstairs by my wife. My son's interrupting me and everything else. Um, but this is the first video that I made at the start of the new year of 2021 I figure I, I would like to, to share with y'all my new year's resolutions and and what I hope to accomplish including with my YouTube videos um ultimately my one of my new year's resolutions is to try to finish uh, my undergraduate course at Liberty University I'm hoping by the end of the year I've already done that I've already finished my associates I'm just trying to finish paying off what I owe then I've got six more classes to take for my uh, uh, bachelor's degree. And then once I do that, uh, I, um, I get my student loans and everything start over. And so I can go to my master's degree and, and go from that point. And of course, uh, 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 I want to uh, also, uh, what, what I've been doing since the end of last year, was uh, uh, I've been really wanting to work on my YouTube videos because I wanted to build my YouTube uh, up and and build my subscriptions up and 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 make a lot more apologetic content, um, a lot more Christian oriented videos, and um, some more debate reviews and things of that nature. So I really want to build up my YouTube channel, and I'm hoping you guys will help me uh, by uh, subscribing to my YouTube channel and liking my videos. Uh, the likes help with the uh, YouTube algorithm. It helps get closer to the top and, and the information that I present in those videos would get out a lot easier. Um, uh, and of course, uh, please subscribe. Please subscribe. I, I want to be able to give you and uh, uh, continue to give these YouTube videos to you. Alright. Um, what other New Year's resolutions I would have? Well, I'm hoping that my by the end of the year, my my family will be far more financially secure um, than we are at the start of the year. Um, I'm hoping this pandemic will be over with by that point. Um, I, I sure hope it, it doesn't last the rest of the year. Um, I'm hoping to at least Hopefully, if I can finish my bachelor's degree in time, I'm hoping to start on my master's this year. Hoping. Um, if you're a Christian, please pray for me. Absolutely. Um, I would love to know what it is that 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 uh, y'all would want out of me. You know what I'm saying? Give me some tips, some advice, some, if you got some tips on editing. I'm actually pretty new at the editing processes. I, I made some editorial mistakes in some of the other videos that I made. And it, it shows. Um, there's times where I misspoke, but I think that, uh, that that happens naturally. I was doing a debate review for uh, the, the debate that I did with uh, uh, YouTuber Anna Jargaral from India. And uh, uh, I will link part one in this description of that uh, uh, debate review that I did. And in the debate review, I was talking about his reference to historical novels. And I kept calling them historical biography by accident uh, when I met historical novel. So sometimes I misspoke. Uh, I'm still new to the whole public speaking thing. Um, so if I do make an occasional mistake, I hope y'all guys will forgive me and, and understand that I'm still still new to a lot of this um, before on YouTube uh, although I've been constantly 
uh, watching videos on YouTube for a very long time. Um, my YouTube channel, basically, I've had a couple channels through YouTube, and I just basically, you know, recorded a, an occasional video from time to time. Um, but I didn't really do like a lot of YouTubers do and, and, and record weekly videos. Things like this. this is actually new for me to be recording videos this frequently, this regularly. Um, so I do hope uh, this is part of me trying to build up my uh, YouTube channel and, and hopefully get more people subscribing to it and things of that nature. So I, I really would appreciate it if y'all help me out on that. Um, I'm not begging for subscriptions. I'm just saying I would appreciate it if y'all did. Um, but, uh, I just wanted to make a video, not plan on editing it. I'm not going to even go to my editor. I'm just going to just kind of drag and drop directly to my YouTube channel. Um, and I just want, you know, just casual, just me and you just talk, having a conversation about the new year. This is 2021. Okay. This is the beginning of the year. I am making this video on New Year's Day. It's the evening of that day, but yeah, New Year's Day. And, uh, um, and I, I, I really look forward to this year being different. I don't know what's going to come to it. I could be dead by the end of it or you know I could you know have you know a thousand subscriptions by the end of it I don't know um it would be nice to have the later <laughs> but uh I do plan to to uh uh build up my YouTube channel graduate my undergraduate co uh, uh degree at college Definitely get my associates, um, which I'm on the verge of getting, and then definitely get and try to get my bachelor's degree by the end of this year. If I don't start my master's, at least get my bachelor's degree. Like I said, I only have six classes to go for that. If I have to, I'll take one at a time. I'm kind of paying out of pocket, so that's what's making it take so long. Um, right now, because my uh, student loans have maxed out. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. But I do want to know uh, what kind of other videos y'all would want me to produce. What kind of videos y'all would want me to present. I'm thinking about presenting some how-to videos as well. You know, for example, I like making uh, thumbnails um, on a program that I use. And I thought it would be cool to, to, to do a how-to video on how I make my thumbnails. Because I, I really make them stand out. I really make them flashy. I like how I make them. Um, there's some other how-to videos I wouldn't mind producing. So I might produce some how-to videos on YouTube. Um, of course, I'm going to do some more debate reviews. I only did a debate review of uh, uh, of my debate with uh, uh, Anas Agarwal. But I actually recorded a full debate review. A full debate review and commentary of the entire debate of uh, between uh, Dr. Jonathan McClatchy and uh, uh, Matt Dillon Hunty. It was done on uh, Modern Day Debate. I was given permission by the host of Modern Day Debate, James Co Coons, to do that debate review. Um, but unfortunately, it was way too long for YouTube. And now I would have to put it back in my editing because I can't, because I didn't. Save it to editing. Like I said, I was very new to all this, so I didn't have it saved on my editing. I had it on my files, but in order to do it on editing, because they were cause in pieces, because I basically couldn't record the entire time. And so I just kind of spliced it together in, in editing. And it was just way too long of a video. I thought about trying to, you know, if I could do it again and just kind of put it in parts, but. I'm thinking about I don't need to do a full commentary on the whole debate. Instead, I might do a portion, uh, a partial commentary or a partial uh, 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 do a review, but do it maybe because I don't need to, me and Jonathan largely agreed uh, on that. I mean, we might differed in some things on methodology and and how he did things and and you know, but for the most part, we we agreed on a lot of things. Um, but it is really Matt's arguments that I really want to focus on. 
because that's the one that where I think that is there's a huge difference in, in how he conflates uh, um, how, or how he um, thinks that uh, that all claims can no claims can count as evidence, but testimonial claims can count as evidence. Um, and things of that nature. Now, I would love to deal with the, those kinds of issues. And since I was given permission by James Coons to do that debate with you, uh, I still want to do it. Uh, Jonathan McClatchy had, uh, had tagged me on Twitter wanting, uh, after I got that permission, uh, wanting me to uh, send him a, a uh, link to that review once I get it done. So I still plan on doing that. Um... So that might actually be my next project, actually. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm also working on a PowerPoint presentation to my argument on the resurrection, um, which I call the historical approach to Jesus' resurrection, um, which basically kind of takes a middle ground between the uh, minimalistic facts approach and the maximum data approach. Uh, maximum data approach opens too many side issues for my taste. Um, the minimalistic facts approach, you know, it's, it's too restricted. On the, the amount of data you can take, because uh, you have to get, uh, you have to go with 99.9% .9 agreement among scholars on the subject matter, and uh, well, scholars are notorious for disagreeing with one another. So you kind of imagine how narrow that would mean as far as what what you can use, and so you can use a very bare minimal amount of facts. Hence the reason why it's called the minimalistic facts view in the first place. So. Uh, I, so the argument that I came up with is kind of in the middle of those two arguments. Where I can accept more facts because my focus is not really on 99.9% agreement among scholars. Um, although most scholars do accept the facts that I do use. I use a case where I have seven facts that I think is strongly evidenced. And it's a cumulative case. But in any given case, uh, I plan on presenting that. I've been working on a PowerPoint presentation. Another PowerPoint presentation I want to work on as well is um, one dealing with uh, uh, the uh, 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 count alleged contradictions in the Bible. And I, I, I won't, I, I don't know if I'm going to do it this much, this degree. I want to do 100 uh, uh, alleged Bible contradictions and talk about them. Um, of course, I wouldn't be able to do all 100 in the same video, so I'll probably do it as a debate, uh, as a uh, YouTube series of probably four parts, three to four parts, and uh, 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 deal with these uh, so called alleged Bible contradictions. That's something I want to deal with. Uh, I also want to do a debate review uh, on a debate that Matt Delahunty had with uh, 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 Jonathan uh, Sheffield uh, on Modern Day Debate. Uh, James Coons gave me from open permission to do, uh, to feel free to do a debate review of any debate that's on his channel. And so whenever I asked permission for the other one, and um, so I thought about doing a debate review of that debate because studying of the who wrote the Gospels and that sort of thing. Um, it's something that I've done a considerable amount of study on myself, and so I was. And I, in fact, I'm even working on a book on a uh, subject matter of who wrote the Gospels. And um, another book I want to work on uh, again is Risen from the Dead. I, of course, I also write fictional books. Okay, uh, I got this one fictional book out right now called uh, that's published called uh, the Just, it's a Jesse it's part of the Jesse Glory Teams Jesse and Glory Team series. Um, in which uh, 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 by a couple of treasure hunters, and I've got that out, and I plan on making, uh, and maybe even this year, try to work on the sequel to that uh, uh, first book, because uh, I've got a lot of future plans for that series, and um, and there's also another series that I wouldn't mind trying to work on called Histo uh which I label as Historia. It's I, I'd rather not go into too much of that because that's still in the ideal phase, phase, and I've come up with different versions of it as I'm thinking about it. So I've got my fictional stuff out. I got some non-fictional stuff that I'm working on. Um, I've got my YouTube channel that I'm trying to build up. Uh, I've got certain uh, plans for certain videos that I'm going to be made. I also made a video 
um, about uh, uh, ancient biographies, about the Gospels as ancient biographies, and uh, the uh, uh, the life of Apollos of Tiana by uh, uh, Philostratus, which sometimes is thrown out there like, well, it's fictional and it, it says this and this is this. Uh, and uh, and it uses miracles and that sort of thing. And, and the fact of the matter is, though, Life of Apollos of Tiana is actually not an ancient biography. I know there are people that dispute that and think it is. Most scholars would say that, no, it isn't. And there's a lot of scholars in that area. Um, and I don't think it's an ancient biography either. I think it is a historical novel. Uh, it has it, It's the wrong size and structure for it. Uh, it's... You know, it, it blends fiction and, and, and history, uh, and of course, if it is ancient biography, it's way outside the uh, time, uh, time of living memory, period of living memory, so it wouldn't even qualify in the subset that, that the Gospels qualify under. But uh, I'm going to link that uh, in the description below this video as well, because I think that that would be cool. Uh, and since I'm not editing it, you won't see like and subscribe flashing across the screen or something like it dozen others but I would like you to like and subscribe this video very much so anyway I didn't mean for this to be a long video I do like to wish every viewer that views my videos a happy new year and I'm hoping this is a good new year for everyone and I would love to hear what you think in the comment section not only just in in my other videos and, and tell me what you think of those but even in this one let me know uh, what is your new year's resolution um, what is your plans for uh, 2021? And if you got some tips for me, like maybe you're an Advent YouTuber and you know how to edit videos and, and you got some tips on, on thumbnails and you got tips on, on how to do the editing process and what editing program you think works really good, then by all means, let me know in the comment section. I really appreciate it very much. And please like and subscribe again. And... Help me grow my YouTube channel. Um, I plan on doing something. This is the first time I've ever done something this regularly. Uh, when I did my debate review, uh, of the debate I did with Honors, I did like eight parts. Which I, 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 I did the whole debate review all at once. And then, or not all at once, I did each part. Um, and then as I, for each day, I did a different part. And then, uh, then I would send it to YouTube and it took me each day I would you know upload it to YouTube actually no I upload I think I upload each part as I made it I'm not sure but I think so and then I would make yeah I, yeah that's what I did um, and then I upload the other part so it took me about eight, a total of eight days to finish off the debate review uh, me and him did a debate over two weeks long in the comment section of a, a debate review that uh, Jonathan McClatchy did with Timothy McGrew over his debate with uh, over Jonathan's debate with uh, uh, Matt Dill Hunty, and in the comment section we debated <laughs> me and Onage uh, uh, over two weeks uh, long, 220 posts. So and I did a debate review of that. Like I said, I will link that subscription below. I will also link my video on ancient biographies in the subscription below. Please check those videos out, um, and I will be producing far more content like this. Let me know in the comments what you think, and uh, um, like and subscribe the video, or like it, or subscribe channel, like this video. Thank you.